So the next pattern is this one. So we want to print this pattern in which you have four rows and four columns. But this time we are not printing stars, we are printing numbers. And that too in this pattern. So in the first row we have one, two, three, four. In the second row we have two, three, four, which is simple to do. But the problem starts when you want to print one again. Same here, you can print three, four, but what about one, two? Then we can print four here, but what about one, two, three? So we'll divide this example into small chunks. So what we'll do is instead of printing uh, something in this way, we'll print uh, what? We'll print one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Let, let's try, let's try, let's, let's do something. For this, what we need is we require two variables. So we'll use two, two variables here. Okay, so I guess take in some extra space here. Okay. So we require int i comma j. So we require these two variables. And whenever you want, whenever you want to print this pattern, we have to use a for loop. So we'll use i equal to one, i less than equal to four, and i plus plus. Now since we require a block structure which is of matrix type, we require a nested for loop as we have seen in the last video. So we require it to go to four and then j plus plus. So this block will make sure that you're, you're getting a matrix format provided you're printing a new line after every block here. Perfect. Now in this for loop, what we need is we need to print, we need to print something, but what something? What if, if I print here, if I print i, so let's see what happens if I print i. So if I print i, it will print all ones. Oh, I, I also need a space just to make it more visible. So you, you can see it, it prints. Okay, let me just scroll up the code and okay. So now if you can see, we, we got an output in this format. So we got first row as all ones because i is responsible for the number of rows, right? So it is printing all ones here, then all twos, all threes and all fours. What if I print J? So if I run this now, it will print 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, because for every row, J is incrementing from 1 to 4. But what happens if I print I plus J? Let's try this. So it, it prints 2, 3, 4, 5, something in this format. Then it starts with 2. So you can see it, the value is getting incremented uh, in your column. So we have 2, 3, 4, 5. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. But it is ahead by one. So what if, if I subtract this number by one? Let's see. And yeah, we got something similar. So we got one, two, three, four, then we got two, three, four. But it's not one, it is five in the output. Uh, then three, four, then again it is not five. It is five, not one. So we need to do something for this. So again, we have different, different logic to do that. One of the logic we, ha we have is, we'll take one more variable, which is k. So we have a variable k here and in k we'll store this value. So we'll say i plus j plus 1. Oh, sorry, not plus 1, it is minus 1. So instead of printing this formula here, we have just have to print k. So you'll be getting the same thing again with the, which we have got in the last output. But what we need is, instead of printing 5, we want to print 1. Instead of printing 6, we want to print 2. Instead of printing 7, we want to print 3. So if you observe, Instead of 5, we want we want 1, right? So it simply means 5 minus 4. Instead of 6, we want 2, which simply means 6 minus 4. Instead of 7, we want 3, which means 4, 7 minus 4. So in so before printing, we can check if my k value is greater than 4, in case it is greater than 4, then I will subtract k by 4 simple so again if my k value is greater than 4 I will subtract that number by 4 so if my 5 is greater than 4 I will subtract 5 by 4 and I will get 1 and if you run this code you got this output which you wanted simple so that's how you have to think about uh, patterns now one of the advantage of learning pa patterns is it will improve your what you say logical power so whenever you build software in future uh, you need a strong logic Right, and this patterns will help you to increase your logic. So that's it. Practice more patterns. Thanks for watching.